All right. Well, so it is the end of day one of the FAD, so we're doing our report out um, that we had committed to. Um, just a quick recap of what we've done today. Um, so everybody got together. We had uh, did introductions. We talked about um, kind of the stake that everybody holds uh, in documentation here. Um, we also talked a little bit about the model for Fedora and uh, CentOS and RHEL and how those fit together in terms of how the documentation flow would work, where the where we feel the content will be concentrated. Uh, we then uh, talked a lot about uh, requirements and start with we outlined some personas on the cr contributor side, um, going all the way from uh, we'll actually include a ten personas here: content strategist, new docs contributor, experienced docs writer a content professional at Red Hat, um, a drive-by fixer, uh, somebody who just comes by for to fix a typo or something like that, uh, a reader of documentation, the person who pushes publish on documentation, um, a tools maintainer, a subject matter expert who's not necessarily involved in documentation but knows something about the topics that documentation covers, uh, and translators. So then we mapped all of these out into um, requirements or user stories, how these folks would interact uh, with documentation, both in terms of a workflow, uh, how they engage and how they use the tools and what they expect to see out of the tools, and then also on the content side, right, what they're expecting to get or contribute um, in terms of the content. So our purpose in putting that together was so that we can compare the tools that we have currently and tools that are available uh, uh, out in the FOSS world uh, to the requirements that we have to make sure that we're finding stuff that's a good fit for uh, the user stories that we've, that we've included. Um, we also talked about um, a number of dimensions to content, including how it's modularized or sized, uh, how a content model, how we might agree on a content model that we could fit documentation into uh, to make sure that uh, it, we can map it uh, uh, so that it is more useful, more discoverable, and fits together in a conceptual way, um, and uh, not just in a not just in terms of a physical site. Um, we also talked about the information architecture for content as well. Uh, the great thing is, I think you know, we reached a huge amount of agreement on what we want to pursue overall. The the team is looking to do topic based documentation. Um, and move away from the model of producing gigantic books. This is not to say that the content in those books is not useful, um, but I think there are probably many ways we, we can end up reusing that content and uh, repurposing it and resizing it in a way that will work um, to sort of seed the, the content in a new way. Um, let's see. Uh, we also let's see. We also agreed that tomorrow, um, you know, this is basically setting the stage for sort of a, a tools um, readout and a tools comparison. Um, Silas is going to talk about some tools available uh, that he's working on and has been using inside Red Hat. Um, Pete is going to be talking about his Anarist project. Um, Sean is also going to be talking about some uh, uh, Pintail and some other tools that he's been working on. Uh, I, th I think that was it, right? And I, I think those were the that was the extent of the tools, right? So the idea being that we're going to then look at um, each of those tools, some pros and cons for each one. Um, we want to compare those to the user stories that we've mapped out, um, and then see where that leaves us um, uh, for good choices for tools for the future. Um, something that everybody can collaborate on, hopefully, and uh, and get some good content out of. So that's our, that is our, uh, I guess that's a really high level overview of what we did today. Um, and I think we're, we had a lot of good fruitful discussion and I think tomorrow we're set up for um, another good one. And the dial-in will remain the same. Uh, I will publish this call out on the wiki and on the docs list. So if anyone wants to check out this recording, they can. Um, I'm done with my piece here and I would open it up to the floor. Uh, anybody wants to interject anything like to cover tomorrow or anything that you feel we didn't summarize for today. Thank you, Bill. That was I you summarized it pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Uh, Summarizer. First taker. Oh. Paul also drew the best diagram I've ever seen of the stream flow between all of these multiple projects. <laughs> Somebody got a picture of that, I think, so we'll see how well that works. Good.
Uh, great. All right. Well, I guess we're in good shape. Um, if anybody, I guess if you're watching this and um, you're interested in the um, in the discussion, I think uh, when are we going to try and convene tomorrow? Do you guys know? Like, which is 9.30, 9.30, is that too early? Let's we'll say 9.30? 9.30, you can. 9.30 a.m., so we'll Eastern be back. Eastern time. Eastern time. United States of America. Eastern daylight time, which is UTC minus 4. So that's 13.30 UTC for those of you who live on computer time. Uh, we'll be back in this room. And um, if you want to grab us, go to Pound Fedora Docs on IRC Freenode. Uh, that's Pound Fedora dash Docs. And just let us know that uh, that you're going to dial in. We will um, start up a dial in, and uh, we'll be glad to have any remotees who are interested. Talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>